All great cooks have one thing in common. They practice, but before that, you need the right tools to get started. Hi, my name's Alexis. Today we're gonna to go over the five essential tools to get you up and running in the kitchen. Then, I'm going to show you how to make a phenomenal bowl of spaghetti and meatballs using all five components. First things first, you're going to need a chef's knife. Kitchen knives come in a ton of different shapes and sizes. However, if you're a beginner, an eight inch chef's knife is the way to go. When it comes to kitchen safety, the sharper the knife, the better. Not only will you be able to cut ingredients more easily, but it's actually safer than working with a dull blade. A dull knife requires you to use more force and they have a tendency to slip while slicing. You can get your knife sharpened by a professional or for more convenience, you can do it at home yourself. For more information, check out our video on how to sharpen a dull knife. Now that you have a knife, the second thing you'll need is a proper cutting board. Both wood and plastic boards are great options. However, if you're just starting out, we'd recommend going with a plastic cutting board. Plastic boards are typically more affordable, they're extremely easy to clean, and require less maintenance. Make sure you're using a cutting board on an even surface and that it's secure before you start chopping. All you need to do to secure your board is place a damp paper towel and lay it underneath. To help eliminate the risk of cross-contamination, you can buy plastic color-coded cutting boards. So let's move on to our third kitchen essential. We'd recommend you purchase a stainless steel frying pan. Even though there are so many great options, we'd highly recommend going with a stainless steel frying pan due to its versatility and durability. Whether you're going to sear steak, saute vegetables, make pancakes, or fry eggs, a stainless steel pan can really do it all. If you're worried that your food is going to stick, just remember to use enough butter or oil and to preheat your pan. To learn more about stainless steel, check out our previous video all about pans. As useful as pans are, they can't cook every dish. You'll need a pot for things like making soups, one-pot meals, or boiling water for pasta. We recommend getting a four or six quart stainless steel stock pot. These pots have a variety of uses in the kitchen. For example, if you don't happen to have a deep fryer at home, you can use these to pull off fried chicken, corn dogs, onion rings, and even churros. For our fifth and final essential, let's take advantage of your oven. A rimmed half sheet pan can really take you far. Sheet pans can be used to make roast vegetables, bake french fries, chicken wings, and it's a super easy way to reheat pizza. They're perfect for your weekly meal prep, as well as baking up some delicious healthy salmon. On the sweeter side of things, you'll use a sheet pan to bake cookies, macarons, puff pastry, and slap pies. Now that we've gone over the five kitchen essentials, we'll use each of them and show you how to make a delicious bowl of spaghetti and meatballs. 